Hey, it's V, and I am doing the Draw My Life tag. So hopefully you like it and learn a little bit about me. All right, so let's get started. I was born on June 6, 1983. And for you smarty pants out there, you've already calculated and figured out that I will be 30 in a few weeks. Yeah, don't really know how I feel about that, but can't stop growing old. Anyway, um, I was born in this lovely state, which I drew kind of like a mustache, but it is the state of Florida. And I grew up in Orlando with Mickey Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so my family is made up of my dad. And of course, um, I was born in 1980, so the curls, he had a jerry curl, yeah. And then there was my mom. And um, also, she had a jerry curl as well when I was born. And then there was my, or is, my big sister. And she is the bestest big sister a girl could ever have. And um, then there was me. I rounded out the family. And I was born Kathy. And Kathy is my full name. It's not short for anything. I don't know what it means, but it's my name. Right. Uh, me and my sister are five years apart. And um, something very interesting that always kind of stuck out was that even though we were so far apart, my mom would always dress us alike. So if my sister had on like a red outfit, um, I'd have the same exact outfit on in blue, which was kind of weird being that my sister is five years older and she's 10 dressing like a little five year old or something. So um, that always drove her crazy. Anyway, uh, when I was about six years old, my parents divorced and my dad moved out and it was just me, my mom and my sister. Um, I don't have any bad memories of my parents' divorce. I still saw my dad all the time and my mom and dad got along very well and um, they actually end up remarrying each other like five years ago so whatever <laughs> um, so again it's just me me my mom and my sister three musketeers and on the weekends we would run away and that was always so much fun uh, we would get in the car and we'd like pack snacks and have music and we just pick a place to go and we just drive. Um, one of our favorite places to go was just to go out and look for um, garage sales or um, yard sales or flea markets and that kind of thing. So we'd go out and do some shopping like that or we'd drive to the beach. That's my beach up there. That's the water. <laughs> And um, also, too, what we would do, we'd um, go stay in hotels. And that was always fun as a little kid to go and stay in hotels. And we just drive somewhere and then we'll just, we'd just stay in the hotel overnight. So that was always fun and exciting. So my childhood was pretty normal other than that. I was a regular little kid. I was kind of quiet in school. Um, kind of, I wouldn't say really nerdy. I mean, kind of nerdy, but I was a really goody-goody in school. Um, when I got to middle school, things were a little different when I got to middle school because I had um, not really a hard time, but just kind of issues when it came to fitting in. Like I mentioned before, I was always um, a very good student, always honors classes, and I made A's and B's, except for math where I made C's, but other than that, I was, you know, really um, really good in school and I was quiet so people thought I was shy because I was quiet but I just didn't like to get in trouble so I wasn't really shy I just didn't like to get in trouble um, and then there I am in middle school it was a very kind of uneasy time for me because like I said I didn't really fit in with the kids in school um, and I would get picked on in school and they would call me names like white girl or they'll call me um, like candy cane or Oreo or just just you know just really mean things like that that kids can say 
So um, I had a kind of like an identity issue going on in, in middle school. And what I decided to do to fit in was kind of change who I was to fit in with all the other girls. So I changed like the kind of music I listened to um, to fit in with them and the way that I spoke and all that kind of stuff just so that I can fit in. And, and then it became, you know, kind of like bearable um, during middle school. But of course I was like on the inside, I wasn't too happy because I wasn't really being true to who I really was. All right, so something really happens like in between that summer between middle school um, at the end of eighth grade and before ninth grade because um, when I got to high school, it was completely awesome. Um, I kind of came into who I was for some reason that summer and I just didn't care. I didn't try to pretend to be someone that I wasn't and so I was just really happy. Um, I didn't care that people made fun of me for listening to rock and roll and punk and alternative and grunge and that kind of stuff. I listened to what I want to listen to. I spoke the way I wanted to speak. I wore what I wanted to wear. I wanted to wear my um, Spice Girl platforms and my belt bottoms. I did and I really got into theater and I really got into dance and these are my point shoes that I'm drawing um, that are horrible but I just loved it and um, that just made me really happy so high school was really awesome um, at the end of high school I wasn't really sure about what I wanted um, to do in which direction I wanted to go there were um, several things that I knew that I wanted to do I knew that I wanted to move to Hollywood because I also went to LA when I was 12 and I fell in love and I just wanted to go back so bad and live there. But I also wanted to be an actress and then I wanted to be a flight attendant and those were, I couldn't be a flight attendant yet because I wasn't old enough. You had to be 21 and then I didn't have enough money to move to Hollywood to be an actress. So I decided that in the meantime, until I was old enough to be a flight attendant, I would go and get my AA at community college. So I attended community college for two years and while there, um, I still couldn't really decide on what I wanted to major in. So it changed like often at first. I was um, an interior design major and then I was an, um, an art major. And then that changed to a theater major. And finally, um, when I was finished with my two years and received my AA, I just went ahead and changed that to general studies so that whatever I decided to go on to do um, in college, I mean, at, at the university, that it was just transfer. So I just got my AA in general studies. And by this time, um, no one's really hiring as for flight attendants because I graduated high school in 2001 and we all know um, that September 11th happened that year and the airline industry kind of slowed down as far as hiring and stuff so it had been a couple of years but it wasn't really many jobs so I decided just to go on and finish out my degree, my education and I went to USF which is the University of South Florida which is kind of weird because it's not really in South Florida. It's pretty much almost in Central Florida, um, but it's in Tampa, which is about an hour and a half um, from Orlando. So it was good to be away from home, but not too far because I would still come home and get Sunday dinners and wash my clothes and all that stuff. Go Bulls, woohoo! Um, so that was a really fun time in college. And while there, I initially started out as a theater major, but then I decided that I wanted a degree other than theater because I didn't need a degree to act. Um, so I graduated August 2005 with my bachelor's in communication with a concentration in performance. All right, so while I was in college, um, 
again, this was just a really awesome time for me. I had a great time while I was in college, met really good people, and and while I was in college, I had um, a very life-changing event take place. Um, that's me in my dorm room with my little loft bed and desk. Yeah, very cramped, and that's about all the furniture I had in my dorm room. Um, I decided that I wanted to give my life over to Christ, and um, I got saved. And that was a very important step for me as far as um, the path that I wanted my life to go. And to this day, my relationship with God is the most important relationship that I could ever have. While I was in school, I worked at a retail store and I actually started working there while I was um, still at home um, at the community college and I would work over the weekends and um, then when I went off to the university I would just come back and work over the summer and Christmas break and spring break and um, I worked at Tommy Bahama which was a really fun store to work at I thought I was rich like I got paid 10 bucks an hour and I worked you know like three days a week and I was like oh my gosh I mean 20, 20 hours a week I was like I'm rich um, of course I had no responsibility so yeah um, I guess I was kind of rich at the time so I worked there and while working there I met this young fella who had just recently moved from Louisiana and um one day I was like, hey, my birthday is, you know, tomorrow. Do you want to come to my 21st birthday party? And he's like, my birthday is tomorrow, too. And, of course, we had the same birthday, and we started hanging out, and the rest is history. Um, we were dating for probably about six months before um, we were engaged, and here he is on one knee asking me to marry him he actually proposed to me in my um the kitchen of my dorm room so um, as you can see i said yes and there's the ring yes such a huge blinding rock <laughs> anyway um he proposed to me and i said yes and but we were engaged for a year and a half so we had been together two years by the time we actually got married and we got married on August 5th, 2006. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. Yes. So we've been married. Um, this August will be seven years that we have been a married couple. And um, shortly after that, one of the things that I've always wanted to do, Opportunity arose, and um, in March, I went to Atlanta for four weeks for training to become a flight attendant. And like I said, it's something that I've always wanted to do, but it is a very diff difficult job, especially when you have a family because you're away from your family for a couple of days at, at a time and sleeping in hotels are not that fun, but I mean, it really is a fun job and I love it. I do, I love it, I love it, but it's a little difficult at times. And now we're pretty much at um, present day, um, February 13th. 2013 our family changed for the better it went from just my husband and myself to um, a third person who is the most adorable the cutest the sweetest the best the smartest little baby in the whole wide world we had our little baby girl Kennedy Renee, who was born on February 13th, 2013, eight pounds, three ounces, and our lives has never been the same, but it has been so much better with her. We love her so much. 
I love her more than I could even imagine ever loving anyone in my whole life. So that has been my life. Hopefully it hasn't been too boring and you learned a little bit about me. So uh, I guess I'll talk with you guys later.